Machine learning platforms for data scientists are in a period of rapid development, with new tools, features, and versions appearing at a fast pace. This rapid change demands maximum flexibility from the supporting compute platform. VMware allows IT operations teams to quickly adapt to these changes through its flexibility of operation. In this video, we show a data science tool from one of VMware's partners and describe how the VMware platform applies to the important users in the machine learning field. A data scientist wants to have different machine learning pipelines and toolkits for testing models in their own sandbox environment. With VMware vSphere, data scientists can choose different machine learning platforms, languages, tool versions, and computer power at will, and run these all in parallel on separate VMs. The data scientist can request higher compute power in terms of GPUs, memory, etc. in his VMs in order to speed up his work. Different VMs can have different GPU and CPU configurations according to the application's needs. Data scientists can rapidly scale up their compute power or scale out using more instances. They can also have multiple GPUs on virtual machines for the machine learning training phase. Data engineers and VMware administrators help here by providing a working environment with standardized ML tools, allowing upgrade at will. With vSphere in place, administrators can now incorporate GPUs and other accelerators into the data scientist's virtual machines. If an administrator needs to perform a hardware maintenance task, then he need not interrupt the data scientist's training job because of VMware's live VM migration. Now, let's watch the data scientist in action using H2O's driverless AI tool with the underlying compute and GPU power hosted on VMware vSphere. The data scientist first reads in a training data set, in this case, a set of credit card data in CSV format. We choose the column that we want to predict, in our example, the likelihood of a default on the next payment. The H2O driverless AI tool analyzes the data set carefully, looking for those feature combinations that are key predictors. The tool engineers new features from the initial supplied set to optimize the modeling process. The tool allows the data scientist to trade off the required accuracy of prediction against the time to complete the training and against the interpretability of the resulting model. These are seen in the top right pane under Experiment Settings. Once an experiment is launched on the data set, then driverless AI chooses and trains different machine learning models on the full set of features, the original plus the engineered ones. The goal is to find a suitable model or ensemble of models for best prediction. We see the driverless AI tool listing and reordering the features in the data for their relative importance to the process. In the Iteration Data Validation pane, we see the tool iterating on the input data set many times. Under the Accuracy number in the middle of that pane, it is choosing an XGBoost model ensemble for best fulfilling the training need. We see the use of the GPU also in the driverless AI screens. We can also use a collection of GPUs in one virtual machine for acceleration of the process. During the demo, we see the host physical server that is controlled by VMware vSphere along with the GPU-enabled virtual machine in which the H2O tool is operating. These are viewed in the VMware vCenter tool that is used by an IT administrator. At the end of the driverless AI training experiment, the user has a trained model that can be interpreted, tested, and deployed into production. There may be several different parallel tests in progress with varying tools and platforms within a data science department. These can be isolated from each other using the features of the VMware vSphere platform. If a new data scientist were to join the team, VMware can help speed up the onboarding process by quickly provisioning a new sandbox environment with the right tools installed in it. We also see the interpretability section of the tool in action at the end of the demo. This demo shows that a modern data scientist's toolkit operates very well within virtual machines on VMware and allows multiple concurrent executions in different sandboxes. To learn more, visit vmw.re/ml.